Hey y'all, did you know you can search your Google Drive files and even Gmail from Chrome? And I don't mean going to the website, I mean by using the search box, which is called the Omnibox, just in case you're not familiar with that term. And it uses something called a custom search engine. So I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna open a new tab and I have a keyword set up for Drive. And all I have to do now is hit tab after I type the word drive and I can search my drive files. So if I just search for my name, it's gonna open up Google Drive and automatically search for everything that has that keyword in it. Super, super easy. Here's how you set this up. I want you to right click or control click on the search bar, the Omni box, Go to Manage Search Engines, and this is where you can create your custom search engines. And you probably already have some here. Um, these may be by default. These may also be controlled by your school's domain. So I already have Drive set up right here. I'm gonna actually shorten this. So if you go to the three dots, this is where you can edit it. So for instance, if you see Drive in there, but it says drive.com and you don't wanna type the whole thing, you can actually change that keyword. I can even just type D and click save. Now, when I come up to the search bar, D, tab, I can search Google Drive with one letter as my keyword. Now, the next thing I wanna show you, um, this is actually all from a blog post I did a couple of years ago, and I will definitely include the link down below if you want this, but there is a way to search Gmail as well. It's not quite as easy, so I'm giving you the URL to set up your own search engine. So just click Add. We're gonna call this Gmail. This is just what you call it, your keyword. And I'm gonna use Gmail as my keyword as well. And then copy and paste that URL in there. Click Add. And now, when I come up to the top, let's start from, from scratch, and I type Gmail, tab, I can now search Gmail. And there it is. It's going to open up Gmail and search for that keyword inside Gmail. Now, this is awesome. This is such a huge time saver. This is part of our time saving tips and tools for teachers podcast series. And I will also include include a link down below so that you can listen in and learn even more time saving tips and tools. If you like this video, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Would love it if you would subscribe to the Shake Up Learning channel. Bye y'all.